Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So, there's a big question I've been thinking lately for myself. If I could only do one mod to the Toyota Tacoma, what would it be? You know, if the government somehow came out and said, you're allowed one mod, you can't do any more, you're rationed. Can't see that ever happening, but these days, who knows? So there are really three types of mods, I think. You have aesthetic, you know, the looks, the way the truck looks. The Tacoma looks awesome right out of the box, to be honest, but certainly there are things you can do to improve it, make it look even better. Secondly is electrical. All the lighting and cameras and all kinds of electrical things, radios, chargers, all kinds of stuff that you can do to the Tacoma. And performance, both on and off road. Some of these kind of go both ways, you know, with aesthetics versus performance, improvements like that, as well as power. Power in the form of making it go quicker. So I was looking at these things myself and there are really five main things that I've done, really. There's a ton of other things. I've probably done, I don't know, a hundred different mods on this truck. I mean, I've been busy. So first of all, the lift. Well, the lift makes the truck look cool, but there's other things you have to do to go with it, right? You can't take a stock truck and lift it and just leave it as is. I mean, you can, but who wants to do that? Then it looks like some cool looking truck riding around on little donuts. Which brings me to the next one, and that's wheels and tires. They go together. You know, you can put just different wheels on and keep the stock tires, but who does that? You've got to go with something beefier, you know? And you got to make them poke out a little bit, because that looks even better. Next up is the window tent. There are all kinds of good reasons for a window tent. You know, it keeps the truck cooler. It makes the truck look cool. It's kind of an aesthetic mod as well. It protects the inside of the truck. You know, it keeps those UV rays from coming in and eating everything alive. Next up, exhaust. You know, exhaust is a pretty popular mod, I think, for the Toyota Tacoma. I get a lot of comments on the channel. People have tried different things. I have a dual aftermarket exhaust on the Tacoma right now, which I really like, but that is kind of a, it depends on your own tastes, I guess. You can hear it. You guys have heard it in the videos. Some would call it a drone. I think there's a fine line between drone and just nice throaty sound. I think I'm kind of teetering on that uh, difference right now myself. I think it sounds really good, but I know there are people who would ride in the truck and say, oh, that's a drone. I don't like it. I can hear it all the time. For me, drone is more of a tenny thing. You know, if you get more of a, a tinny, metallic kind of sound, if that makes any sense, that to me is a drone, something that's just overbearing all the time. I don't have that with this truck, although you can hear it all the time. And of course, we all hear differently and different things bug us. So, eh, you know. Lastly, and I have to throw this one in, is the Pedal Commander. You know, one of the things that I hated the most about the Toyota Tacoma was its gutlessness. It was just a dog, you know? You'd hit the gas and think about it for a little while and then it would take off. I can't stand that. And I get a lot of arguments on the channel. People talk about, it. well, it's a truck. It's not supposed to be fast. Didn't you know that when you bought it? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I knew that. This isn't my first go around with the Tacoma. I mean, I've had several different trim levels, all that kind of stuff. And I'll tell you, when I went to the Sport a long time ago, you know, with the hood scoop, another polarizing feature about the truck. But when I went to the Sport, I actually had it stuck in my head that because it was a Sport, it'll be quicker. That was one of the draws. And you know, when you go to look at a new vehicle, you do the test drive, it's brand new. You already have these expectations when you go in that it's gonna be better. So you start to think it's better. It's kind of a placebo effect. And that's the way it was with me in the sport. Took the sport for a cruise, it felt faster to me. Now I know there's weight difference and suspension difference and all that stuff, so it's gonna feel different anyway. And I had that happen with the sport after I had it. By the way, it was the Barcelona red truck that I had on the channel, the red Tacoma. But after I had it for a while, I discovered that it was still a dog. 
And I got to admit, way back before I got the pedal commander on this truck and the throttle lag eliminators all together, I was kind of against them. I thought, how could they make that much of a difference? But I kept seeing all these ads and all these testimonials out there about it, right? So I got one myself. That was the booster on the uh, blue truck and I tried it. I have the pedal commander now, which by the way, I do think is superior because it has its Bluetooth connectivity and that bigger screen. I didn't think I'd like that at first, but after having it, I do. I think it's much more handy. You can actually see what you're doing if you choose to manipulate it, not using the Bluetooth connectivity. But anyway, I put that on the truck and it was awesome. This truck without the pedal commander shouldn't even exist in my opinion, unless Toyota changed the way that they tune it. Now, I don't mean an aftermarket tune. You know, there's been a lot of talk about the channel or on the channel about that. And I realize some people like the tune. It sounds to me like people get that primarily for what they have experienced with shifting. I've not experienced that myself, but honestly, I live in a valley. Everything is flat. I'm not cruising up and down mountains all the time or even hills for that matter. So I don't notice a lot of shifting problems. So for me, it comes down to lag elimination and that was the pedal commander. So out of all of those five, and I know there are many more, I mean, I've got a sport bar, I've got other things on the truck, but out of those five, the number one mod that I would get is the pedal commander. Because if the truck is not fun to drive, that's where it all starts, right? I mean, you're not looking at it when you're in the truck, so you can't see those other aesthetic things. If you're not off-roading and going over ruts and deep things, and you know, I think most people that off-road probably are just on trails and things like that. They're not climbing up rocks and going up mountains. I know some people do, but I think that's a minority. For just driving around, stoplight to stoplight, passing on the freeways, even better fuel economy, the pedal commander is number one. And I should kick in right here because I think it's that important that you give it a try. There's a link down below. If you click that, it'll take you to the pedal commander site and put in a little information, you get a discount. So the price is gonna be lower than what it's stated there, right? Get it, try it. If you don't love it, I would be shocked. I haven't heard from anybody who's not affiliated with somebody else that doesn't like it. It's an awesome device that turns the Toyota Tacoma into what it should be straight out of the factory. And I really hope Toyota does something when they put out the redesigned Tacoma that's coming, probably late next year as a 2024, I'm hearing, but I hope they don't build in this throttle lag. It's gonna be a turbo four. So I'm thinking it probably won't have that, but we shall see. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If there is one mod, because you can't get anything else ever that you would get for the Toyota Tacoma, what would it be? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Mercedes-Benz, doing lots of mods and things to that, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And don't forget, click the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.